Kristen Aguirre is up this morning doing a little cooking, yes. celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes, buenos dias, mi amiga Kristen. Oh, buenos dias, Lindsay. So this morning we are talking Hispanic Heritage Month, and we're here with two his, um, owners of a Hispanic restaurant here in town who really have achieved the kind of the American dream. Well, yes, we, we started working in Arkansas, then now we move here to Illinois, and I really like working here. Mm -hmm. And so you guys, they actually moved from Mexico to Arkansas and then worked at a Mexican restaurant there and then decided to come here in Quincy and have opened this great Mexican restaurant. And how, how hard has it been to kind of really get that going? It's, it's so hard. It's too many hours working, but it's, it's part of my life. I love working here and I love people, so that's why. <laughs> and why is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month so important for you? Well, because I'm Mexican and I guess we need to try to make everything our best and then it's why. Do you think it's important for everyone to kind of understand the month? Oh yes, oh yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well coming up later in the show, we are gonna show you how to make some of your favorite Mexican dishes authentic and I'm gonna dive into those huevos when we come back. Maybe those eggs. You eggs. can dive into that margarita. Yes. It's big enough to swim in, I believe. <laughs> oh no, I'm not drinking the margarita this morning. I didn't say you had to drink. I said you could dive in. Just don't S just don't breathe marks. in. <laughs> <laughs> I won't, I won't. <laughs> well, I'm yes. Kristen Aguirre is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month today. <laughs> She's learning how to make your favorite Latino dishes. Kristen, what are you up to? We are doing just that. We're making your favorite Latino dishes, whether it's from tacos or enchiladas. Right here, we're going to show you how to make them. With me now is uh, Consuela Enrico Cobian from the Maya restaurant. What do we have here on this table? Well, we have here the fajitas. It's very simple to fix. You know, we put them here. You know, this one is like chicken and a steak and come with rice, beans, and salad. It's pretty good. And then, then we have over there the burrito loco. And then you can choose chicken or... Uh, steak or mixed and then we have here the enchiladas mexicanas one of my favorites do you see it's like our flag you know <laughs> and are very good and I love you know the rice and beans also in there and so if people want to make these authentic dishes at home how how can they make them at home well it's more hard I guess <laughs> here it's very easy because somebody else cook for you you know but uh, yeah it's it's complicated a little bit but I love cooking home so it's no, no bad for me. Sorry. So the fajitas, basically, it's we're cutting up the chicken and and putting and what what else is in there? Well, that come with uh, onions, tomatoes, and bell peppers, and then we fry with uh, veggie oil, mm -hmm. and then uh, sesame. It is the the only thing that they come from. And why is why is Mexican cooking so? Why do you love cooking so much? Well, because I really like my, my, you know, cook for my kids and they love my food. So it's why I love it. Mm -hmm. And cooking is definitely a huge part of Hispanics culture. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. You know, we cook real Mexican food because it's a huge different, um, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. It's just, it's a huge part of our culture. Eating, exactly. eating is a, is a huge part of the Hispanic culture. And so I'm going to dig, dig into these frijoles and coming up later, we're going to have some authentic dancing. So make sure you tune back in for that. Ole. Okay. So here we're celebrating <laughs> heritage, uh, Hispanic heritage month. Yes. Buenos dias, Kristen. Yes, Lindsay. Yes, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Day month, or I keep calling it day, Heritage Month today. And with me now is Julio Flores from uh, Amigos Unidos. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the organization you're with? Yeah, we created Amigos Unidos Committee in 99. Uh, we, uh, we funded this with, especially with Mexican because the population at that moment were norm, were, the majority were Mexican. Now in Beerstown, we have a strong diversity. Amigos Unidos grew up to and um, we have 15 years cel celebrating Mexican Independence Day celebration, uh, uh, May 5th too, and we contribute with, with Virgen Guadalupe Day too. Mm -hmm. So the, with the, uh, the population of Hispanics growing in Beardstown, the organization has also grown. Um, Hispanic Heritage Day month is September 15th through October 15th. Why is this month so important to celebrate, not just for Hispanics, but just for our nation? Yeah, uh, it's a special recognition from the United States government. Uh, for us, it's so important because this is a way to show uh, how much we contribute with this society. 
For example, in the area, uh, the majority of the Hispanic population are working in different places. Uh, we are making a strong contribution to the economic in, in the area. Um, uh, even we have a strong uh, demographic precession at, in, at this moment in the area. Uh, Hispanic population is uh, in Beerstown probably the second uh, biggest uh, community. Uh, we just not, we are not just the people. We brought a culture uh, to to this area too. Uh, the Hispanic language have more present, and our culture, entire culture, have more present at this moment. Perfect. And with also coming into the area, we brought some culture. So coming up later in the show, we are going to see these authentic dancers get their boogie on. <laughs> they look very beautiful. Absolutely. They are gorgeous. Look like dolls. They're so cute. <laughs> Thanks, All Kristen. Right. Time for a Kristen Aguirre is celebrating mm -hmm. Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes. How's it going, Kristen? It is going good. Um, right now, we're talking with Ricardo Montoya from Guard Elementary. Um, tell us a little bit of the dance group we have here. Yes, this group is composed of first-generation students in that area, in the Beerstown area. So they're just first-generation students. And this is just composed from pre-K, from kinder, to fifth grade, so it's just uh, elementary students, you know, and we just want to show our culture, especially in school, where the kids just for like they are dancing great, and all what they want to do is just show the spirit of culture, what who we are, bring the culture out, and we want to preach this culture mm -hmm. to everybody, especially to the students. And is that kind of a way of saying Hispanic Heritage is? Hispanic Heritage Month is so important? Yes, Hispanic Heritage Month, as you said, is important and we want to keep this as our tradition, our, our who we are. It tells and describes who we are. And these kids are showing it because we're teaching them who they are because that's the most important thing. First, find yourself between who you are so you can discover other things. And do you think it's also important to kind of integrate this into American culture as well? Yes, it is a great way because as we were said, First, knowing who you are takes you toward assimilating to other cultures. And these kids, like I said, first generation kids of, um, in the area, and look at them. They're what dance are they doing here? This is doing la raspa, uh, la culebra. So. And what are the girl dancers called? The group is just guard elementary, guard elementary dancing group. And then the women are called? What? Uh, las bailarinas. And the men? Los, baila los bailarinos. All right, well, coming up later in the show, these kids are going to show me a thing or two about getting authentic on the dance floor. Ah, awesome. Ooh. Can't wait to see that. Yes, very Kristen cool. Aguirre. They're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month today. Yeah, Kristen, que pasa? <laughs> I am celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and we are going to learn right now uh, authentic Mexican dance. I'm with the Guard Elementary dance team right here. And who am I with? with? Minerva. Caldino. Leslie. Leslie. All right. So what, what kind of dance are you going to teach me? Uh, Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> Why is dancing so fun for you? It's, it's. Well, you have some great makeup on. Do you love the makeup? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> is it hard learning to dance? No. No. Why do you love dancing so much? Because it gets you like on TV and then like <laughs> they're proud of you and. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are going to show me some moves now. So what's the what do we have to do first? Um, the first thing you have to do is grab your dress. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like I have a big flowy dress. And you have to stomp your feet really hardly on the ground. Okay, which foot? Which foot? What? Uh, which both foot? of them. Okay. Fastly. Uh -huh. And then all you have to do is the boys go around you. And that's and. And is that it? Yeah, Basically? that's the first step. All right, so let's try it out. Let's see, how are you guys, are we gonna, let's try it out, guys? Okay, okay ready? Gonna put, you can put the music up, ready? All right, here we go. You guys are gonna show me how to do it. <laughs> you guys are doing awesome. So why is Hispanic Heritage Month so important to celebrate? Well, do you, do you come to, you want to come to enjoy Maya because it's the uh, Hispanic month, so mm -hmm. do you come enjoy? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> and why do you think this is so important to kind of blend cultures with Mexican a and American? Yeah, it is important to assimilate to the different cultures because as we know, the United States is very, very multicultural. So finding out of other, other cultures is very important to understand who we are mm -hmm. as a whole mm -hmm. people, you know. Julio? Yeah, I think because uh, even we are here in the United States, we are going to be Hispanic for our entire life, and we need to, to keep our root. This is our identity. It is the best way to integrate in this society. All right, so if you're interested in some getting some authentic Mexican food, make sure you check out Maya. And if you want to see authentic dancing, make sure you check out the Guard Elementary dance team. What's your dress? B the, the, the dance team I think is... There's not one bigger enough for me, okay? Jeez. <laughs> Where is the dance team? <laughs> Located, like it's in was. it's in Beardstown, okay. and okay. it's at Guard Elementary School. Cool, excellent, very nice. We appreciate the, the nice lesson this morning, and good dancing. Good. <laughs>